Hi, my name is Caitlin Overton and I'll be studying abroad in the fall at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. No, I'm not. Never get to England. Hold on a minute. Hey, can I borrow your... what are you doing? Um, just recording a video for a scholarship so I can study abroad in England in the fall. England? Mom's never gonna let you go there. Keep dreaming. Hi, my name is Caitlin Overton, and I'm a junior theater studies major at Montclair State University in Montclair, New Jersey. And I am actually studying abroad in London, England at Goldsmiths College. Like, I'm actually going. I already printed out the receipt for my plane ticket and everything. See? But this didn't always seem like such a reality to me. The long process of applying and getting the paperwork necessary in order to do this started about a year ago, when I hadn't even heard of Goldsmiths College or CEA, the study abroad program that essentially hooked me up with Goldsmiths College while I was studying in Montclair for the past year. It seems like just yesterday. Long story short, I was auditioning for a play and met a bunch of people who couldn't stop talking about this study abroad program. Sign me up! And from that moment on, I was sold. I needed to get to Goldsmiths College in the fall of my junior year. So I mentioned it to my mom after hearing about it from my friends. And then I politely reminded her a second time to let her know that I meant business. Hey mom, remember I told you that Mia and Emily had studied abroad for a semester in London last year? Mm -hmm. Well, I really want to do it. Now please don't freak out. They said it was life-changing, and I really think it'd be amazing if I got to go there and study theater in London for a semester. I figure if I get started with it this year and applying and stuff, I can be ahead of the game and... I'll be extra prepared. Mm-hmm, sure. So, as you can tell, my chances didn't look promising. My mom had some doubts and hesitations about sending me to London for a whole semester. Though my grandma let my mom study abroad in England while she was a student at Mills College in California. So I knew I had a lot on my plate to prepare for the okay from mom and dad, but I was definitely motivated enough at this point to make my dream a reality. I eventually did get the okay from both mom and dad, and we booked my flight on June 17th. And now it's just a matter of preparing mentally and financially. My mom's doing a lot more of the former right now than I am. I'm kind of nervous. How about you? Are you excited? Hey, do you think I could come visit you in November? Mom, I'm not going to London yet. Well, when you do go, I'm going to miss you so much. Okay. My family has always supported me with everything I do, so leaving the country for a semester with that in mind will definitely help and comfort me in my life abroad. There's a time in our lives we start again on writing our part. Studying abroad is always something that's been on my bucket list, so to speak. And now that I actually have a plane ticket to London and that I'm about to enter my junior year of college, it seems almost silly to have even thought of four years of college without going abroad. I think London is the perfect choice for me to study abroad because I'll get the chance to meet both students and teachers who share the same interests as me, especially theater. London is a place in which the world of theater is most alive today, and now I get to go there and see it firsthand. Some of what the world has experienced in the theater on New York City's Broadway came from London first, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to get to see the city, which has contributed so much to the world of theater. I'll also get to visit the place where much theatrical magic happened hundreds of years ago, Shakespeare's Globe Theater. To think that I'll be in the midst of where William Shakespeare's works were first performed sends chills down my spine. And what better place to go to than London, England, than to study my works, actually visit my birthplace, and see the Globe Theatre itself? Bill's right. What better place for me to study theatre abroad than London, England? This experience will help me see how the development of theater started in London and how it affects me as a small fish in the big sea that is the world of theater today. I'll be immersed smack dab in the middle of all of London's current theatrical happenings and will get a taste of the modern London theater scene. I'll be able to benefit from being in London at this time because this will act as a springboard into my future as a young theater artist working globally. 
Outside the classroom, I'll be learning, perhaps without even realizing it, the daily lives of the citizens of London, because I will essentially be one myself from September to December. I will also acquire new perspectives of learning and get to experience how other people around the world function on a day-to-day -day basis. And since I'm going alone, as no one else that I know of is coming with me from Montclair Goldsmiths, I'll experience for the first time taking a plane ride without anyone I know beforehand and making new friends from other places on my own when I arrive in the UK. How fickle my heart and how woozy my eyes I struggle to find I am itching to learn about and engross myself in London's society and customs, culture and theatrical goings on. I can't wait to visit historical places and monuments that I have only yet viewed in history books. I strongly believe that this experience is necessary for me as an actor so I can hone my craft and learn more about the world of theater of which I am a student. And also as a human being and young individual who is passionate about becoming more in touch with the world in which she lives. This whole experience didn't seem possible for me a year ago, but then I realized it's actually doable. Which sounds silly, but making arrangements to go to a foreign country, especially for school, isn't easy. But I was on top of the paperwork, the meetings, the emails, and the correspondences, and I'm so glad the tough stuff is out of the way. I can't wait to go. I think about it all the time, and sometimes I pretend that I'm already there. I'll be boarding a plane before I know it, and my dream of going to England will finally be a reality. I'm going to England. I'm going to England.